तो वी स्टार्ट द सेशन सो ए वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड ए वार्म वेलकम टू एवरी वन हुज ज्वाइन अस दिस मॉर्निंग वार्म विशेष ऑन द सेवेंटी थर्ड रिपब्लिक डे ऑफ आवर नेशन एज ऑल ऑफ यू नो वी हैव गैदर्ड यूर टू कंडक्ट एन एलेक्शन कॉम्पिटिशन इन इंग्लिश फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन बिफोर वी बिगेन लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस आवर स्टीम जजिस और बी पी वर्गी सर एंड अंकिता मैम children please give a big hand to these strong pillars of acs to mumbai please yeah coming to the rules so that that <laughs> hand hand clapping was very weak okay then go for a loud loud applause bachcho <laughs> there is no energy in today's republic day it should be energetic no okay thank you okay the rules of the competition uh Each participant will be given a time limit, not exceeding two minutes, to speak on the topic. The participant should not be reading the speech from any sources. Use of flashcard is permitted, but only for reference of outline and keywords or points. The participants should keep their videos on during the entire competition. Uh, so two more are joining. We'll just wait. Uh. Parents, guardians also will invigilate their watch. No malpractice should take place at the time of competition. The decision of the judges will be final. To commemorate the great men who laid down their lives in the struggle for India's freedom, the topic chosen for class ninth is Atmanirbhar Bharat. Without much loss of time, let's move into the competition. Our first participant is Priti Avinash Bhosle. Priti, are you ready? Yeah, Priti, go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. Respected teachers and all my dear friends, I'm Priti Bhosle, and today I'm going to speak to you guys on the topic Atmanirbhar Bharat. Atmanirbhar Bharat, which means self-reliant India. This phrase was first used by Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Government of India in relation to the economic vision and economic development of the country. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi outlined five pillars of Atmanirbhar Bharat. That is infrastructure, economy, the respected teachers and all my dear friends. I am Priti Bhosle, and today I am going to speak to you guys on the topic Atmanirbhar Bharat. Atmanirbhar Bharat, which means self-reliant India. This phrase was first used by Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Government of India in relation with economic vision and economic development of the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi outlined the five pillars of Atmanirbhar Bharat. That is economy, infrastructure, demography, demand, and system. Now let's look back at the past of India. During 1947, when British government left India, India was equal to zero. Making India stand back on its own feet was a big task. On 26 of November 1949, India adopted a constitution, which was its first step towards the digital dream. That is making India powerful in every field. Since 1947, India has achieved tremendous progress in standard of living, income level, and every field. We are near to our digital dream. During 1947, India counted only 3% to world's total GDP. This rate was increased to 8.5% in 2017. And according to a study, India is soon going to contribute more significantly to the domestic economy. There was a time when we were equal to the hero, but in today's world, India is standing like an immortal hero. But in today's world, India is standing like an immortal hero. Thank you. Uh, very good, Preeti. Uh, now, our next participant is Vasudha. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Vasudha Hari Kumar, and today I am going to be speaking a few words on the topic Atmanirbhar Bharat. So, what does Atmanirbhar mean? Atmanirbhar means self-reliance. Self reliance can conquer any difficulty. If we are self reliant, we don't need to depend on anyone or more than depend on anyone to for our survival. During the fight against the colonial forces, Mahatma Gandhi urged us all to boycott foreign products and to use Indian products or as we used to say, traditional products. But our struggles are far from over yet. First, we have to be British. Now, we have a different view. The monopoly of China over the manufacturing industry is like a ticket time bomb, which is ready to explode. Plus, we have people who think that of using foreign products as a safety symbol, and at 
preferring local products over imported products it also means by making our products making our products match the quality and cost of imported products india is a very large country and it has resources and it has abundant amount of resources yeah we still lack yeah we still lack the shortage of skilled youth in our country therefore enthusiasm is needed So, so on August 15, 15 Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed, addressed the nation on their report regarding Atmal Nirbhar Bharat. He focused on the themes of, of making India a vocal, vocal for local. Atmal Nirbhar Bharat made Atmal in order to retain economic growth during in global market. We need to ensure some things like fund given for small farmers. small so farmers migrant, migrant workers etc relief, relief fund, fund for agriculture and other sectors, sectors like as animal, animal husbandry fishery, fishery agriculture etc boost, boost in our supply, supply chain, chain and lots and lots, lots of job, job opportunities opening soon and with and that i would like, like to conclude my speech with the saying that goes ab hamara yahi sapna hai aatmanirbhar bharat ko banana hai thank you very good nirmay our next participant is akshaya Sir, so start. start. Yes, Akshaya. A very good afternoon to everyone. My name is Akshaya Malika, and today I will be speaking on the Atman Nirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. The Atman Nirbhar Bharat Abhiyan was launched on 12th of May 2020 by our Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi. Atman Nirbhar, which means self-reliant in Hindi, which also refers to depend less on others. Self-reliant India is based on the five pillars. Economy, economy infrastructure, infrastructure system, system demography, demography and demand the aim of the atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan is to make the country and its citizens independent and self reliant in all senses the atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan will make india india self reliant by creating an ecosystem that will allow the indian companies to be highly competitive on the global stage the government has taken several bold reforms such as the supply chain reform for agriculture rational tax system simple and clear laws simple and clear laws capable human resource and a strong financial system the make in india spirit embedded in the atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan has resulted in providing resilience and self sufficiency to the country by uh, by by various medical equipment including the personal protective equipment ppe and to conclude my speech the atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan uh, promises to provide benefits to everyone from every sector thank you good akshaya the next part is Sanvi, what is meant by atmanirbhar? It means being self-reliant, and the word self-reliant means relying on one's own efforts and capabilities. The development of each one of us is the identity of self-reliant and true self-reliance. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sanvi Bhuli, and today I'll be speaking on the topic atmanirbhar Bharat. Atmanirbhar Bharat is the term formulated during COVID-19 pandemic. It is the mission and vision of the Honourable Prime Minister to make India an Indian self-reliant by using the clean manufactured products. He also raised a slogan that is "Vocal for Local." Just as the very famous proverb, "Neither the mud nor the stone can tell us from the heart," was the name of the art. This is the theme that was implemented in the Five Pillars laid by Prime Minister for its foundation. Your economy, infrastructure, knowledge, resources, skills, vibrant democracy, and demand. The first and foremost reason for the implementation was to improve the economy and address the issues faced by various people of various sectors. The advantage was that we reduced our dependence on other countries for various reasons. Besides, I think we have already realized that it is time for us to depend on indigenous innovations and products to encourage the youth of India to start up businesses and develop new jobs. Our development indicates the development of our nation, so we must try our best to develop ourselves. For India to become genuinely self-reliant, it is very important for the government to focus on education, health, human capability, resource and development. But we must remember that government will only reach to the people. It is their duty to bring them to action. Some of us might prefer to work nine to five, one because business standards are something. But I think it is time for us to come out of our comfort zones and make India a comfortable country for all of us. Thank you. 
सानवी वेरी गुड लास्ट एंड फाइनल पार्टिसिपेंट अनिश वर्मा अनिश Yes sir. Can you see me sir? Yes, yes. Over to you. Okay sir, should I start? Yes, uh yes, please. Please. Good morning everyone. My name is Anish Sharma and today I would like to speak a few words on Atmanirbhar Bharat. There is a famous saying that necessity is the mother of all inventions. Similarly, the invention of Atmanirbhar Bharat was very much necessary for India for us as citizens of India and the Indian economy during the corona epidemic. Atmanirbhar Bharat and not just three words. Atmanirbhar Bharat is the vision of our respected Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji to enable Indians to overcome this difficult time of COVID-19. What is Atmanirbhar Bharat you ask? In simple words it means dependent on oneself similarly atmanirbhar bharat means that india shouldn't be dependent on any other country for technology and learn to stand up on its own this was started by pm shri narendra modi ji to make india and indians atmanirbhar by starting to produce all the essential commodities locally vocal for local is also an integral part of the atmanirbhar bharat in india India is dependent on a lot of imports from countries across the world to meet its needs but it is time that India becomes atmanirbhar and starts producing its own goods and not just goods but also technological advancements atmanirbhar bharat atmanirbhar bharat encourages companies to make their own device make their own technological advancements like new devices new apps and new games Finally I would like to thank our respected prime minister Sri Narendra Modi ji for taking this initiative which will surely help us as citizens of India and India as a country thank you uh, good uh, anish so with this uh, we mark the end of today's competition i'm sure each one of you has enjoyed listening to them No one can stop India from becoming a superpower if we Indians prove ourselves self-reliant. But then, how can we make ourselves self-reliant? By by creating self-employment. We should use products made by our own people so that their business will be successful and Indians will have will have a source of income. Will have a source of income. Uh, uh, our uh, honorable prime, prime minister narendra modi in his speech has pointed out five eyes a uh, five eyes in in use in investment in infrastructure innovation and inclusion which are five factors uh, that are uh, that will make india self reliant and friends, and friends we, we, we can, can make, make it possible, possible but for that we we'll have, have to uh, stand, stand together, together and show, and show our, our power it it, it, it is it is difficult, difficult but not, not impossible, impossible. Uh, jai jai, jai. Thank, thank, you. thank you good kadambari so may i now call upon one of our esteemed judges vp uh, bagi sir to motivate our students with your kind words sir please uh, i think uh, now uh, टोटलू in online classes most of you switch off your cameras and the usual lesson but we were not like that we were listening with the total attention and uh, most of you have done a lot of uh, work in collecting the information related with this atmanirbhar bharat 
and, and you, you all have collected, collected uh, a, a lot, lot of, of thoughts from, from your, your family, family members, members or maybe, maybe from, from your elders and, and you, you have organized them, them and presented them in a very nice manner. manner. And, and uh, congratulations, congratulations to all those, those who have participated, participated. Especially, especially those who have made their maiden speech today. today. Those who have never participated before, but for the first time they are participating, a special congratulations to them. And uh, whether you get first prize, second prize, third prize, that is not the ultimate uh, mark of greatness. How much you are learning from others. You have your own style of speaking, and there are so many, so many styles, styles. How, how many people are speaking, speaking that, that many styles, styles of speaking, speaking is, there. is there. So, so watch, watch when, when the, the other contestants are presenting their, their thoughts. thoughts. If, there if there is something, something to learn from that, we can learn. learn. Some, some expressions, expressions, some uh, uh, way, way of, of keeping a uh, uh, full eye contact, contact with, with the, the listeners, listeners. Some, some ideas, ideas all these things, things you can, can collect. collect and you, and can, you can make it your own. own. You, you can, can build, build your own oratory skills, skills based, based on those, those things. things. That, that will definitely help, help you. you. Okay? okay? So children, children I am very happy. happy. You, you all have participated well in this. And this topic is very highly centered around uh, social, social science, science subjects, subjects like, like economics, economics and, and uh, political science. science. Congratulations to all of you. You have you done have a very good effort. effort. Keep it Keep up. up. Whenever, Whenever any such competitions are there, you should participate with more enthusiasm. And, and we are really, really impressed, impressed by your performance. Once again, happy Republic Day. And thank you for listening to me. Okay. Thank you, thank sir. You, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Actually, uh, Anita ma'am just messaged me that she lost her uh, neck uh, connection. Okay. So, thanking both the judges for uh, sharing their time and patiently hearing out our li little enthusiastic kids. Last but not least, I appreciate my students for the enthusiastic participation. Thank you, everyone. Happy Republic Day once again. Thank you. So with this, we'll Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir.